I got a question. Don't be afraid to raise your hand and answer. How many of you know the importance of this week? How many of you know the real importance of this week? For you all that haven't experienced it, it's nothing like you've ever seen before. It's a home run ball and uh, it is tipped off. And Lewis caught it on the deflection. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is gonna... You have never seen a whole state shut down. I want you all to know that, that there are old players out there that's excited about what you all are doing. You got to lay everything out on the line. Into the end zone, reaching up, making the catch. It's the freshman. In a few hours, Sabres and Bama boys will be rolling on the plane. Makes a catch at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. They don't want to beat us. They want to embarrass us right here on our home field. He's got wide open Gray. Throws it to him at the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. In front of our families, in front of the entire country, we'll be watching. Sure, they may have more four, five-star athletes than us. They probably got more future NFL talent than us. But let me tell you what they don't have. They don't have my heart. They don't have our passion. Look at all. He is level at the ten-yard line. Touchdown, Auburn. Trey Mason. Now, I don't care if you're from some inner city near Miami, Florida. 15, 10, 5, Marshall, touchdown. From some farm town way out in Arkansas. Or from right here on the Red Clay. You chose all, And that makes us family. Family's willing to fight for each other. And they stopped it. Family's willing to die for each other. Now nobody's giving us a chance, but I'm here to say that today, November 30th, 2013, the mighty Crimson Tide will fall in Jordan Hare State. View continues. And what's at stake here obviously is a Hail Mary for Alabama to break the tie. As if that's all. A chance to go to Atlanta. The possibility of a third consecutive BCS appearance and championship beers. Auburn, the history of the football here has always been a fourth quarter team. Come the fourth quarter, those guys are running on fume. We still got a half a tank of gas left. Stick to your game plan, and I promise you, you're going to come out on top. You've got to be careful. He'll run it after the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the football game. Auburn's going to win the football game. He ran the midfield goal back. He ran it back 109 yards. They're not going to keep him off the field tonight. Holy cow. Oh, my God. And Auburn is going to the championship oh. game. And now we'll throw it for the end zone. He's got Coates. He's got it. Auburn is scary because they just keep coming. It's like Rocky Balboa, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course he could have messed with Apollo Creed and Apollo Creed kept knocking him down and <laughs> beating up his face and making him look ugly, but he wouldn't stay down. And that's what I'm seeing from Auburn. They won't stay down. What, what does it take to stop that offense? It, it doesn't look like there's there's a way to. Well, everybody has problems with it, you know. And I, I, you know what? I'm the wrong person to ask because I'd have stopped it if I could. Tackle to the five. He's in. You may put this one on ice. Thank you.
79 yards rushing against Texas A&M. 233 against Arkansas, 444 against Tennessee, 296 against Alabama, 500 plus yards against Missouri. Trey Mason for over 300 yards rushing. Auburn's not trying to trick you. They're like, this is what we're great at. We're coming. We dare you to do something about it. Week after week after week, and no one can stop them.